Here we are, back at the creek I was at a few days ago. I made it over. Completely dry this time. Ugh. Thankfully, I was able to use a little bridge that I used last time. Right now, just hiking along on my own in trail running right now. So everyone else is out hiking somewhere else in that direction. Sort of lost them maybe like a mile or so away. I decided to just head off on myself and just see what I could find. And I found that big tree. One of those trees. <laughs> that one over there? Yeah. And I want to go see if I can climb it. So here we go. So this is the tree I was referring to. Now, try to climb it and get this started. So it seems to be very sticky at the bottom, and I don't mean sapwise. It's just these little ones are all over the place. So, let's see how this works. <laughs> all right, how am I gonna start this? Maybe that one right there. I'm coming for you. So although there were a ton of sticks at the bottom, I don't know if you can tell or not, but got a lot better trying to get up. Now, let's see how high we can go. We are currently here, ish. Oh. Hold you there for a second. Oh. Hold you there for a second. Oh, that was a bit cracky, so. Oh. Probably stop up here. Whole tree is shaking. Absolutely crazy. I keep looking at myself and not the camera. But wind blows it quite well. Definitely feel it little bit sketched out, but he's pretty cool. Woo. See the river? Crossed it about a mile or two down that way. But pretty cool to be able to hear it. I'm not sure if the mic will pick it up, but I certainly can. So the whole reason why I wanted to do this little video is just a little life update on what's been happening lately still at Colorado Timberline. Been there for a while, hoping to go back at the end of summer. I get out of school on March 26th, 28th, something around that time. Hopefully be back soon, be back in California. The number one plan as soon as I get back is hopefully get a job somewhere that I don't absolutely hate. I'm looking into applying to a couple of vegan restaurants near me, so see how all of those applications work out. So far, nothing back, but Hopefully it'll work, back, work out better when I go back in person. That way I can talk to the manager, give them, my res res uh, give them my resume, and go through all of those motions. The number one thing that I really cannot wait for is having my car back. I'm not sure what kind of car I'm gonna have when I come back because my car wasn't running the last time I was there. Something was wrong with the battery. Although we were looking into selling it, so hopefully that'll all work out and then I'll have something that'll actually drive and I cannot wait to be able to drive down to the beach and just chill out. I've missed it so much. Hop down from the tree on my way back. I was all the way up there-ish, around there. So if you can see from the size of the tree, shaking a bit up there, but I was able to see the river, which is now behind those rocks somewhere. But yeah, on the way back. Fun little hike today. Just went out, crossed the river, came and climbed that tree. <sighs> like tree's name, it's now Frederick. So if I ever refer to Frederick again, I'll be referring to that tree. Since coming to this school, I feel like this is the first time I've really embraced nature. Before I just feel like it was there, but now I feel like I'm actually in it. That might just be because I'm on my own, which is a bit of a difference, because normally I'm with a lot of people when I go on just like little hikes like this, but. This is absolutely gorgeous. The trees, the ground, you don't get that anywhere else. The snow, and the river. Based on the way things are going right now, it looks like I'll have about eight weeks of school left. So I'm really excited to looking at the end of those weeks coming up. Super excited, I cannot exaggerate that enough. But as soon as I get done with these two weeks right now, 
then I go on a huge rock climbing trip. So I'm looking forward to that. And then after that, my last period of the day is going to be involving plants. I forgot what it is called, but I will be growing plants, hopefully my own food, which I am really looking forward to learning how to do. And it's taught by like the chillest teacher at the school who happens to be the biology teacher. So I'm really excited. Also, while I've been away here at school, or Durango, my parents went out and got a pupper. So I'll probably put a picture of that pupper right after this. And he is absolutely adorable from what I've seen. I, another reason why I can't wait to go home. I've been here long enough, I need to go back. Currently debating if I should walk all the way down back where I was, which is about a mile or two that way, or if I should just take off my shoes and cross the river here. <sighs> Considering I've been wearing shoes for like the past hour or so, probably gonna cross here. We'll see how that works out. Hopefully this phone doesn't end up in the river like it almost did twice last time I was here. That's looking like a calm enough area. He says hopingly. All right, now that I have my shoes off, my feet are feeling a lot colder on these rocks. And I can only imagine how cold it's gonna feel when I step into there. <sighs> Bit freaked out. It was really cold last time, but hopefully it's not gonna be as bad. I mean, it's only been a week. Ooh. All right, here we go. That is colder than I remember. Oh, and my pants are way too low. Oh, I'm going to go find an easier way. Ugh. Not feeling that right now. Not at all. <laughs> Something people ask me a lot is how I go barefoot everywhere and why I do it. Well, one reason is because I don't like shoes in general. Shoes, weird word. Weird word. Back on track. So, as I was saying, barefoot, why I do it. I like to just feel connected with everything I step on, as hippie-ish as that sounds. It just feels like you're more grounded to the earth and you can feel like your environment around you. And I just feel like a deeper connection, if that makes any sense. Another reason why is because I hate the way my feet smell when I do wear shoes. So, not as deep and spiritual, but it's just not good. Because when you wear no shoes, your feet don't really sweat as much. They're constantly airing out, so they're not gonna smell awful all of the time. Because when you're not wearing shoes, they don't have the chance to build up sweat and grow bacterium and stuff like that. And another question I always get to is, how don't my feet always hurt? Like walking on stuff like this. Well, one of the answers is because I've been doing it for a while, and after a while, your feet will build up a tolerance to it. Just like if you were to go rock climbing or you work with your hands a lot, your hands are gonna build calluses. The same thing happens with your feet. So, sum it up, I just like not wearing shoes and just feeling more in touch with everything around me more than anything else, really. All the others are just plus-ons, add-ons, add-ons. Seem to come to a place that doesn't look too bad. It's a bit, harsher than normal, but it looks pretty shallow. So, try to cross it right here, have my pants rolled up, have my shoes in my hands, and I'm ready to go. Let me just reposition this so I have a much better grip as I step into the water. And that got way deeper than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be this shallow all the way through, but, whew. Hair on my face. All oh, the rocks are moving. Cover. Cover. Don't get distracted by the dog. Okay. Oh. Oh. 
Yes! Finally. There's people staring at me like I'm insane. I see you too. <laughs> Made it across. And my pants didn't get soaked. Double plus. So today, it's been a fun day overall. Just like the past hour or so, just chilling out in the trees, walking near the river and stuff like that. Walking in the river. Hopefully we'll have something big this weekend that I can try to get some footage of. I'm hoping to go on a uh, hike, that's the word, and set up the hammock that I got. And now I have two hammocks. Thank you, Mom. So, <laughs> we'll see how all that works out. Until then.